Have you been hurting any animals? No. Not at all? Not even thinking? Maybe thinking, but no. I heard about a friend of a friend who had a kid who was named Milo who was getting bullied at school for loving ghosts and vampires. And so that was the beginning of me creating a character of Milo, the character of Milo you now see in the movie, um, who, um, who believes he is becoming a vampire. So you're thinking about that. Tell me about that. Tell me about the thoughts. It's nothing, just thoughts now and then. But I don't do it, not anymore. So once I began writing, I mean, well, first off, I wanted Milo to live in our universe. I wanted him to live in a place with our movies and our books, and Milo to be sort of a student of those things. And then I decided that Milo would like the most realistic ones because he's kind of someone who's studying what a real vampire is, um, because as he feels, he is a real vampire. So then he was gonna naturally like the most realistic ones. Um, and for me, so, so for me, his favorite films would become Let the Right One In, Martin, which was a 70s uh, film that was uh, applied a lot of realism to the vampire myth. And, but I mean, the reason I love Let the Right One In, I think shows in my movie too. I also love Heavenly Creatures. I love intense coming of age stories that are very dark. And that's a little bit what, uh, you know, mine is as well.